anyway, if you remember, I uh, leave you guys at this point that we create the design for the bus bars uh, design. And now we are going to do applying the boundary conditions and excitations and analysis for the 3D design. So uh, first thing first is you can either right click and select face or just press F on your keyboard and then select the faces. So uh, the faces that I'm interested to to select is basically this face and it's going to be touching the boundaries. So we basically put it in a way that it was uh, at x equals zero so it is touching the boundaries. So make sure that uh, this is the case and then you right click on that you can say I want to have an excitation in terms of current and I can call it left current and I can have the amplitude of 1 and basically that should be uh, that should be good and uh, uh, press OK on that and then we will have a next one uh, same again you go to the excitations you go select current and then you say right current and uh, the value of the current is going to be 1 amp and this time I'm going to have a 60 degrees uh, change and also I want to make sure that I'm swapping the directions so I will get uh, two different uh, directions two in two different current in two different directions and also two different currents with two different phases okay and uh, that being said I think we have nothing else to do um, except pressing, pressing OK uh, well now what you want to do is uh, you want to make sure that um, the current that is going the, the current is actually going through the uh, so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to go select the, uh, the excitation current and actually give them better names so for the left current um, I'm going to call it left current and leave it like that and for the right current I want to make sure that it is not uh, it's actually pointing into the terminals so these are the ins inward currents and uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the entire canvas and go on the other side let me just uh, this deselect that so you can basically see what I'm saying um, so I'm gonna go on the other side of the canvas this is this is the positive X and I'm gonna go to the negative X okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say okay this current is coming in and it should go out so uh, that's correct that the current is coming into the uh, to the bus to the to the bus and now I have to make sure that it's going out and to be able to do that you have to assign um, I'm gonna say current left out and uh, want to make sure that it's one amp and it is swept direction so it basically says current um, current in current out you can see that right um, let's do the same thing for here uh, again excitation and then current one amp you know uh, you can say current right and this time I'm gonna say out and uh, guess what we are going to swap the directions and you can see the arrow shows that the current is coming in and getting out of this bus. I'm going to rotate back to the same view that I had and make sure that everything is fine. Okay, good. And this would conclude our excitation for this uh, for this project. And one last thing to do for the excitation, which is a good thing, is uh, you want to go to the Maxwell uh, 3D and you want to go to under the excitations and make sure that the set edit current effects for left and right we do have uh, basically the eddy current effect and now when it comes to the displacement current that's something that you want to have when you are going to uh, study the effect of the radiations and so it is not very important if you are uh, taking care of the forces that the B uh, the magnetic field is going to apply into the other bus bar 
If you're looking at the excitations, that's another story, and I'm actually asking you guys to check out um, my previous uh, tutorials on radiation, and uh, over there you can see a good example of how you can use a displacement current and a calculated displacement current for uh, calculating the ex excitation, uh, sorry, the re radiation and the radiation um, resistance. Okay, um, so, so long story short, which I guess is too late right now, um, for the left and the right um, bus bars, we have the eddy current effect uh, set. Okay, so these are all done, and um, I think we are very happy with that. Uh, now, when it comes to the the forces and calculating the force, Maxwell is, as I said, nice enough to calculate the force for you automatically. Which kind of force? Virtual force. But if you want a Lorentz force um, in a, in 2D, you have to do all the calculations and run uh, through the um, details and uh, you know uh, work around that. But uh, when it comes to the 3D, one of the good things that you can do is you can actually uh, ask the Maxwell to do for you to calculate the Lorentz force as well. So I'm going to go um, Lorentz force as well. So I'm going to go and basically right click on the uh, parameters and go and oh, I have to first select which. So let's go on the left bus bar and see the effect of the force. So I'm selecting the left bar and I go to the parameters and right click on that and I say assign force. And here I have the, uh, the basically choice of having two different type of the, uh, oops, two different types of the force to be, uh, to, to be calculated. Uh, here I'm uh, asking uh, to calculate for me the virtual, uh, um, force so I'm gonna call it virtual and I can do again click on left and right click on the uh, parameters and uh, click on assign and force and over there I can say okay now I want to have the force Lorentz All right. so now I have both kind of the forces being selected there's one thing about the Lorentz force here that um, So one thing that I have to uh, I noticed about the Maxwell 3D the difference between Maxwell 2D and the 3D is basically in the 3D uh, design we can have the automatically uh, calculate the Lorentz force, but uh, the Lorentz force is only valid on objects with the permeability of one, and so if the permeability is not one, which is very rare to find, I believe. Um, uh, so the permeability actually um, so if the mu r is not uh, one then in that case uh, it's not be it's not going to be valid so uh, put that in mind and uh, when you're doing the calculations okay um, that's good so so far we've done all the stuff uh, that you wanted to do uh, right click on the analysis and uh, again put like uh, 20 and uh, when it comes to the percentage of the error, you go 0 0.01. And of course, for the solver, you go with the 100 kilohertz to make sure that everything is fine and press OK. So now when you do the check, um, everything should not be OK. So the reason that is not OK is um, we have pointing out, pointing out, pointing into pointing into well okay so the reason that is not okay is because the right current has a 60 degree uh, phase difference however when I set the point out for the right current is not point 60 degree phase difference so therefore it this current has two different phase for this limited small size of the bar which doesn't make sense because if you are thinking about the lambda um, with that frequency the lambda is pretty high 100 kilohertz and therefore that's not true you cannot have a, a current that come in with 60 degree phase difference and then get out with zero degrees so then if I fix that hopefully everything should be fine so you guys should fix that too so what I fixed was on the right side the current that goes out should have 50 60 degree 
uh, phase difference. So when you do that, everything is fine and it says everything is correct. So now this is concluding the excitations, boundary conditions, and the analysis for I'm um, set up uh, for the analysis for this design in the 3D mode, and uh, we are going to have uh, the analysis in the next video. Thank you.